Today I'm taking you to Cafe Clover, that is a restaurant that I love, especially when it's sunny because they have a great terrasse and the food is great. And I love the color palette of the place, which is perfect to show you. The look I wanted to um, do today, which is uh, inspired by Jane Birkin. So it's all about being fresh, that's why I'm not going to use any foundation, just a bit of concealer uh, where I need it. The main focus is glowy, healthy and natural, but she used to have like very strong, sharp eyes without making it, you feel it's because of makeup. So I really want to recreate this natural, spicy <laughs> look. Um, highlighter uh, to keep this like glow and freshness all over like the highlight zone. And then I'm gonna use this cream blush that I love um, because it's pink, it's very uh, fresh, it looks like your own natural color, uh, like you just, you know, woke up from a nap. <laughs> and then I'm gonna work on my eyes. So that's the mo most important and like key thing of the look. This uh, brown eye pencil is gonna go on the lash line and then I'm really gonna push it out on the outside corner to have this kind of a cat eye without being obvious that's because of the makeup. So that's why the concealer brush is really gonna help to shape a little bit. And then I'm gonna apply this matte eyeshadow all over my eyelid and it's a beautiful nude scent tone, which is perfect for the color mood of this look. And also really shape the eye, but in a very natural way. Because then I'm gonna use this crease eyeshadow that is sort of a bois de rose and really shape my crease and the outside corner in a more pointy way to really accentuate this cat eye effect. Then the key thing is the lashes. So I curl my lashes a lot. I created this one, it's not the best, so I won't advise it. But this mascara is amazing because it's very, very pigmented, very black. It keeps the curve all day. And it made my lashes like thick and very long and almost shiny. So on the top and the bottom, as much as you can, try to keep the root of the lashes more thick and the tip of the lashes pretty thin. So it's like a natural shape of a lash. And as you can see, it's like super intense. Um, and for lips, I'm just gonna have like a nude sort of satin slash matte uh, lipstick. So I keep the color mood of beige, scent tones, and uh, bois de rose. So what I love about this look is how to trick the eyes, how to use makeup in an invisible way sort of, to shape and put some spice in your eyes without making it obvious. So it's about feeling the makeup, not seeing it.